seem to be socialist. And I say seem to be socialist is quickly said. It's a different kind of, so it's more like fascism really, or Nazism. Because they plan to go down through the ages, their offspring being the better breeded type with intelligence and so on, uh, and take care of these resources and use them properly for their own maintenance and sustainability, not for ours. In fact, we, most of us have to die off. And I mentioned too the H.G. Wells, um, who also was a member of this group in his day, uh, belonging to the Fabian Society, funded by the Astor family, Lord Astor, as was in fact the setup of the Royal Institute of International Affairs. H.G. Uh, Wells was one of the biggest writers pushing technology and pushing this, the technological age for the masters to rule the world. And he also talked, along with Bernard Shaw, about killing off and get rid of the useless eaters, all the masses. I mentioned as well uh, that he published in his own book, Things to Come, uh, in 1934, that in the future, about now, you see, uh, in the future he said they will use energy credits to, for money. So if you think you're just going through a stumbling happenstance, strange um, Alice in Wonderland uh, crisis after crisis scenario uh, with everything happening by chance, you, you, you'll never ever get what's really happening. To do with this this uh, society, this this technocracy, Inc., because it's important you realize it's not new. It's mandated from the top. The biggest bankers in the planet have always been part of it. And uh, Cecil Rhodes himself was set out to grab the resources of the world, an awful lot of them. Then Milner took over doing the same thing right up through World War One, World War Two. They set up the United Nations, by the way, the same group. Uh, to manage the world's affairs and bring the perfect society into uh, reality. But it was to be based eventually with, with eventually killing off uh, the useless eaters step by step, not all at once, of course, so, we're all, so that we don't panic, but enough to step up the death rate. And they believe that themselves should come through this, you see. And in 19, as I say, Wells himself did publish his book, uh, Things to Come, Sheba Things to Come, and... He mentioned energy credits would be used. You see the same thing through the Star Trek series as well, when they're asked, what kind of money do you use in that century when they come back from the future? And he says, um, he says we get a form of, of credits, you know, and privileges. Now, this technocracy, Inc., uh, has another, uh, has, has a lot of uh, good stuff on its own site, and they're still going well and strong today, managed by the big boys. And I'm sure the NSA is in it too. And it mentions Energy Distribution Card. And this is from an article that was published in their magazine, Technocracy Magazine, July 1937. It says, That which ceases to function ceases to exist. As each day passes, it becomes more evident that our socio-economic structure is unsustainable. Where have you heard that before? Uh, in the technological scientific age in which we live. That's for the energy distribution card published in July 1937. Of course, and it's from Bateson's lifetime commitment to reprogramming a humanity, reprogramming a humanity, which he deeply despised, and in particular his explicit drive to destroy the religious basis of Western civilization by replacing God with nature, that the whole earth project was born. What did it become? Your greening project, folks. It says, with nature at its center and mankind portrayed as a dangerous ape threatening to destroy all. Basin's British and American intelligence sponsored takeover of the nascent field of cybernetics in the 1950s from its creator Norbert Weiner. led directly into Bateson's LSD-driven experiments on schizophrenia and creativity in Palo Alto, which in turn were the origins of Key Kisses, Merry Pranksters and their house band, and the Grateful Dead. They were running around doing these experiments. They called it the experiment and uh, gave stacks of, you know, millions of LSD to distribute among society to get them turned on, drop out, while uh, society fell apart around them. That was the whole idea of it. All military guys... Don't forget that for a second. All these top guys were from the military. 